Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. Okay, we want to get a, another group of people coming down to this dome. So let's check out uh, what we've got available. First of all, under perks, uh, no geniuses, no celebrities, no saints. All right, so let's go ahead and clear that. Um, age group, we're still blocking seniors. That's fine. Okay, I don't want... I don't need scientists. I do want geologists. Uh, I don't think I need these. Alright, let's go ahead and review. Um, I definitely want the engineer. And the engineer. And the engineer. I don't think we have any others. All right. Oops. Okay, so there's more geologists than necessary. Are there any idiots here that I want to... Okay, well, that was an engineer idiot. I'll bring the engineer idiot along. Let's get rid of the alcoholic. Chronic condition. How how can you have a chronic condition and fit be fit? Well, no. Okay, I, I guess I can understand that. Let's get rid of that alcoholic. Well, you're sexy, so we'll bring you along. Uh, let's see, vegan and religious, hypochondriac and whiner. I don't. I haven't noticed if vegan does anything in the game. I think it may just be a thing. All right, let's go ahead and launch that rocket. Pipe leak reported. Uh, of course. Well, yeah, someone's out there taking care of that already. There goes a rocket. Shipping off some more uh, foods to home. Oh, wow, there's nine polymers out there. Okay, well, uh, let's see. We'll get some more people here. We've got the uh, amplification going. How's that doing? Or, yeah, we're down to 40 uh, power supply uh, surplus. We are definitely going to want to generate more power soon. And... All Dragon has died. Oh, it's sad. Our saint is uh, no longer with us. But don't worry, everyone. I'm still here. Generating lots of polymers, which is good. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, we've got this built. Let's go ahead and open it. There we go. Now we're up to 151 power surplus. I don't really understand it. I mean, these things are closed now. Why are we why are we generating so much power surplus at the moment? Is it because buildings are shut down? Hmm. I don't know. I do not actually know. Early production is 1.3 and 1.9 out of 3. I think that's because, yeah, it's just zeroing out our our water. So they, they do produce less when you don't actually need it. 
Okay, so, um, if I want to do that, I'm gonna need some polymers over here. We're waiting on some... Electronics. So let's go grab a few more. Okay, you're loading that up. Load that up. And go ahead and not come down there, come down here. Go ahead and unload that all. Alright, so we've got... Uh, what do you have on you? You've got passengers. Now I'm kind of blanking on... <laughs> passengers on board will die if the rocket doesn't land in 118 hours. Wow! blanking on which ones were on this rocket. I think this was... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was uh, the one that I was going to bring here. So let's go ahead and do that. Fingers crossed. Yeah, that's Eve returning to Earth with uh, more rare metals. Vehicle battery low. Uh, which vehicle battery is low? New colonists have arrived. Why are you not going through the, uh, the tunnel? Funding received. Oh, well, whatever. You'll figure it out. Vroom! Into the tunnel. Pipe leak reported. Yay, pipe leaks! All right, that's that's okay. Uh, we'll also let this one get uh, um, filled up with exports. Okay, if I open that work shift up, are we gonna have enough people? Holy cow, we got a lot of kids. Is that going to put anyone in? Twelve lifetime graduates. Not sure what they're actually... You're a geologist. You should be working over here, please. Alright, 6.3 uh, daily production. 6.7. This is down to 3.2. Hmm. I don't like that. A colonist just snapped. Oh. Colleen Jenkins, as every other colonist, uh, went through psychological conditioning before arriving on Mars to guarantee their most basic ability to cope with the adverse environment. Indeed, the people live on a barren, dead-cold world with a toxic, almost non-existent atmosphere, protected only by a fragile-looking dome and relying on machines to keep them alive. The unparalleled everyday stress levels slowly drain the people of their resolve. Thus, even sli the slightest shock or frustration can send someone over the edge. On Earth, entertainment and recreation are just for fun, but here they are a tool for basic survival. Hint, the colonist Colleen Jenkins has reached critically low sanity. Provide operational healthcare buildings in the domes, and avoid heavy workload or nighttime work to prevent this situation. Well, that's... Indeed, that is troubling. Uh, you... Okay. You are... You are... Okay, I will grant you that this is probably not the best place. Alright, so what does this mean? Um, 
well rested, worked outside the dome. Stressed out. You are a geologist. Um, I guess that means you're just going to go home. How are the other people here doing? Alright, I guess I will get a... Get an infirmary built here. What do I need for that? Just concrete, okay. Well, I assume that if you rest a bunch, then you'll recover your sanity, but... You are an enthusiast. Uh, you're not quite loaded up yet. So we'll wait. Go ahead and charge back up. Actually, no, you probably don't need to charge up. Go... Charge up here. Wait until we get up to uh, 30. Well, that is our first colonist who has snapped, Hardly which is reported. pretty good, really. Okay, you are good to go. Okay, we are producing more machine parts. That's good. Toggle over time. Hmm. All right. We can still get more people here. Maybe I should bring in more, uh, like, non-specialists or something like that. Well, then again, you're, I mean, these people are, are not really doing anything in particular. Why can I not choose this? It, like, if I click on it, it just closes out. Oh, well. I don't know how, um... Cal, the note in your hand bears your name. It's mysterious writer bidding you to visit them in the garden. Well, as I was saying, I, I assume that I'm just gonna, like, have to hope that we get engineers or geologists out of that. The sense of danger tingles in the back of your head, a keen tool you have developed over the years of climbing through the intrigue-filled political structure of the authority. Your contacts wouldn't be so enigmatic, but neither would any assassins sent by your competitors to put an end to you. You admit to yourself that your curiosity is sparkled, but you take precautions and tuck in the small pistol in your robes before going getting outside. The night is very hot, even though it is winter. The weather these days has gone had gone crazy and had gone crazy? Shouldn't that be has gone crazy? And it has been both a blessing and a curse. It served your cause well, giving extra credibility to your mutinous words, but it also whispered the coming end for the last of the farming clans, and the cities overflowing with starving refugees. You sit by the orchards and prepare for a long wait. Your eyes flutter open as you feel the presence of someone else there. A figure in the bushes. You can't help but to gasp as they step into the dim glow of the streetlight. Leah, your breath stops in your throat, silencing your voice. You feel tears forming in the corners of your eyes. Your sister projects love and happiness over the telepathic link and sweeps her own tears away. Is it really you, Cal? I've missed you so much. I'm so happy to see you. Where have you been? What happened to you? I've been doing the same thing as you, trying to free us from the authority. I found out terrible secrets and the solution to our problem. But it's dangerous, even fatal. My comrades devised a cure. She opens her palm. Two vials of pale liquid lay there. So I've come to come to you to take the cure with you. 
If I'm to die here today, I want to do so in your embrace, Cal. We're the only survivors of our clan, and I want the and I want to rest with my people. What are you talking about, Leah? It doesn't make sense. Leah sits down beside you, taking your hand. We've been deceived the whole time, Cal. The clans exist only for a ge for only a generation. Our centuries-long traditions and culture are a lie. The people from the cities killed the land with their industry and their wars, so the authority crafted us from flesh and blood to resettle the planet and work like slaves to feed, feed the cities. But the drought proved stronger than they thought, so they abandoned us. Uh, so, they aban so they are abandoning us. We are a failed project, Cal, but we are also living people and we refuse to let go and die. She pauses to catch her breath. The authority couldn't release millions of people without a safety kill switch, so they imprinted our genes with stronger telepathic abilities so that they could read our minds and wipe us out with terrible weapons designed to kill only us. To be free, we must sever our telepathic link. This is what the cure does, but it kills one in three. It is crucial to be s it is crucial to set you free, Cal, because you're a watcher. You can deceive the authority about the people in this sector and allow us to spread the cure throughout through the local clans. Then we will have an army. You are unsure and confused, but Leah presses on. No time to think, Cal. Let's do it now. Let's take the cure together. I know pe people who will help us refine the cure and make it safer. No need to rush now. No, Leah, let me be the only one to take the risk. I can't lose you now that I've just found you. We'll take the cure together, Leah. I'm here with you. There's nothing to be afraid of. Um... I know people who will help us refine the cure and make it safer. No need to rush now. Finding your sister after all these years. The thought of losing her again is enough to break you. Luckily, you know just the right disillusioned government biologists who would take great interest in the formula for the cure. You hide the vials under your robe and give Leah a hand. You sit down by a tree and talk for hours and hours until the sun dawns on the horizon. Then she kisses you farewell and vanishes in the waking city. You have the feeling that you will not see her... Uh... Oh, you have the feeling that you will see her soon enough. In fact, additional dreamers are created. Okay. Not actually sure... I mean, I haven't seen a dreamer. Eh. I don't know. Got more mysterious mirages. Got two malfunctioning pipes. Those will be uh, resolved uh, pretty quickly. Research complete. Mars Nouveau. That was one of these, wasn't it? No. No, it was this one. No. Uh, where was it? Ah, this one. Uh, building construction costs in metals and concrete reduced by 20%, excluding domes. So that's good. Um, I haven't really picked up any other new things. So what do we want? Uh, water production increased by 100% on the evaporator upgrade. Microgravity Medicine, Medical Center, Spire has a larger capacity and is more effective than the Infirmary. Hmm. Haven't really done any Spires yet. Arcology might be a good thing to start working on. Let's do that. Okay, so we got this, uh... We upgrade this. It's going to cost polymers. Let's go ahead and do that. And here we could probably just do some large solar panels.
And the main reason for that is, um, you know, I'm not too concerned about, you know, our actual production. This should just be fine. Um, just generating some extra power. I've got the, uh, um, the batteries to accumulate power. Uh, so that'll, that'll go pretty well, I think. Uh, you're done here. These just all require metals, and we've got plenty of metals up here at the moment. And they're... It's just kind of a passive thing, um, and they require metals to uh, operate, so I am pretty good with that. All right, let's just go deposit some there. I'm going to need some more. How are we doing? 33... Yeah, I still need more people here. Seventy-one out of ninety-two. I could definitely get some more people here. Any new perks? All right. Uh, I need a geolog uh, I need engineers, and we do not have many. So let's grab, let's grab a bunch of no specializations. Not too concerned. I just need more people to work these uh, um, these buildings here. Beginning to uh, build up some more uh, waste rock around here. So let's see. Where is the extent of our thing? All right, I guess I'll just build it out here. So much waste rock. Oh my lord. <laughs> that is getting a bit ridiculous uh, on the the amount that, that that's going to be. Alright. Let's turn these uh, shifts all on. I got some more USA funding. So that's producing eight. That's producing six. Uh, right, I need to... Uh, not you. Okay, let's go grab some more polymers. I should get some more concrete down here, I think. And maybe some fuel. Yeah, I should probably get some fuel down here as well. 
Funding received. There we go. That's good. Let's see. I could actually do even more outsourcing. Let's do that. I want I want to I want to knock out a lot of this research now. We're finally getting a uh, excellent amount of rare metals Vehicle production. Battery low. Okay, that's okay. Eight point two. That's pretty good. Six and eight. This one is producing more. Now, why is it? Uh, so that's a low grade, and that's very low. Okay, so that's why. So it also has to do with uh, uh, the grade. Also, has to do with Pipe how much reported. they produce. Still producing a good amount of uh, power uh, and water and everything. Uh, let's see. Okay, machine parts are beginning to ramp up uh, again. Okay, more passengers. Let's get you down here to this dome. So the uh, Project Mohol, uh, it doesn't say that it needs to be built anywhere, and it doesn't say that it needs any workers either. Alright, let's see, you're going to the Martian University, Martian University. Metals extractor. Uh, that's okay, I guess. And I would New like more people working on these, arrived. but if we're getting, you know, good uh, specializations out of these people, that will be good enough, I suppose. Let's see. It looks like we are basically uh, at full on our. Uh, on this thing as well, anyway, so. Okay, you go ahead and charge up. I'll need to get fuel down there as well. Yeah, power surplus right now is 63, and then when night comes around, it'll it'll go up. I guess it is uh, the night shift. All right, now, that's a good reason to uh, have these things working themselves. Pipe then. leak reported. Yay! You again, stupid dust devil! Don't no, don't don't. Uh. Thank you, Asher. Thank you. Well, now we're losing water. Yeah, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, you are... Didn't I load you up with the... Uh... Did the drones steal our 
Uh, the drones stole our uh, polymers, didn't they? It's just rude. Get out of there. There we go. Alright, um... First of all, go charge Funding up, I think. Received. There we go, got some more rare metals. Money? Uh, let's not take off yet until it's loaded with, uh... Stuff. Wait until you're charged up. I think I'll start doing uh, a, a trade route of some fuel down there. I was going to do uh, concrete, but that can wait. Actually. Fuel, and then unload there. There we go. All right, 11.6 out of that one, and 8.7 out of that one. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Get over here. Well... Go ahead and unload those polymers. Yeah, I feel like I'm not going to need any more uh, fuel. There is a, a tech that uh, can increase extraction for having fuel, and I might want to go research that pretty soon. Um, but All Dragon, you are done. You can go ahead and launch. And I think when we come back next time, um, we're going to continue to see if we can get enough like machine parts and everything. Um... Because for the uh, the Mohol, we need 300 machine parts, uh, and I this may be a case where I just want to start bringing stuff in from Earth. That is that is definitely a uh, an idea. Anyway, um, for now I'm going to call it an episode. When we come back next time, we're going to hopefully build up our stockpiles of electronics and machine parts. Our stockpiles of polymers are going pretty well, so I'm not too uh, worried about that. Um, there isn't nearly as much that's using them, and I think they're producing a lot more. 7.6. Yeah, 3.5. I mean, that. I don't know why it's, it's so bad. I do need to get the, uh, uh, the thing that increases production for the factories. And I'm just not going to bother with these. And I don't know if the, this will apply, but they don't, they don't need them. I don't need them. Uh, at least not right now. Anyway, uh, when we come back next time... Um, oh, okay. So that you, you can just click and turn that on and off there. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, anyway, when we come back next time, uh, we are going to hopefully stock up on our uh, resources there. Definitely don't need to stock up on fuel. It's good to know now. I don't need that much. See you next time, everyone.